everybody, welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2015 coverage. I'm here with Chevy from Portal Games, and we're going to be taking a look at Tides of Time, which is a, a tiny little game, as you can see. There's very few components here. Yep. And uh, it's a little bit of a um, drafting game. It is a two-player drafting game. There's only 18 cards in the game. We included a quick summary card for your first couple plays. Got it. Uh, some tokens that mark the cards that you keep between rounds and then a score pad and a pencil. Perfect. Everything you need in the box to play. So it's a two-player draft. In the start of the game, we each get five cards in our hand, mm -hmm. and we're going to choose one to keep and then pass hands. Okay. Uh, we do that until all five cards have been drafted, and then we total up points. So very much like any set collection game, you're trying to get sets of things. So okay. for instance, this card gives you three points for each tower that you have. Uh -huh. And you can see the... The tower symbol is the suit of the card. So if I had these two cards, this would give me three points. So this card would be scoring off of, off this, of this card. Yeah. Got it. So for each tower that I have, I get three points. So if I had more than you know six points or nine points or however that works out, there are three of each suit type in the game. There's five okay. suits, and then there's three cards that don't have a suit. Got it. And they do special things. They typically don't score that much. Um, there's also cards that give you points for having the majority of a suit. Okay. So, for instance, if you can have the majority of temples, you gain seven points. Got it. Um, so we draft our five cards, we score. After we're done scoring, we take all of our cards back and we're going to choose one to keep for the rest of the game. That's our relic because the rest of our empire collapses. Got it. So we're going to keep one relic for the rest of the game. We'll mark that so we don't accidentally pick it up, which happens a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we draw two new cards, so we're back up to five and we do it again. Got it. We're going to do that three times and then the most points wins, scoring between each round. And the game then is, is a fairly short game. Ten minutes. Great, great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Plays and there's a. Uh, so is it, it sounds like there's an interesting build from round to round where you're not really resetting. You're sort of. It's not a complete reset. You're going right. to keep three of the same cards. Right. So you're sort of rounds. specializing, really. Yes, yes. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. And, it, and it's one of those games where there's only 18 cards going here. So very quickly, after your first few games, you'll know all the cards. So you know what's left in the deck, you know what to expect, and that's actually part of the game, because now you're trying to manipulate what your opponent's doing. So not only am I trying to score, I'm trying to keep you from scoring, <laughs> and trying to be tricky to prevent you from scoring. And so knowing the cards is actually an important part of the game. It's right. not, you don't need to have a huge deck of cards to be surprised every time. Right, right, very cool. So when is this uh, expected to come out? Gen Con 2015, and then shortly thereafter in retail. Okay, Tides of Time from Portal Games. Thank you, sir. Thanks. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.